Welcome back, everyone. India is one of the world's fastest expanding economies, but the country's infrastructure is antiquated and cannot handle the demands of an information technology-based economy. Now the government is hoping to build so-called smart cities to address that shortcoming. CCTV's Shweta Bajaj reports. Urban India is getting crowded. Migration to cities is increasing by the year and that's what's behind the Indian government's focus on creating so-called smart cities, ones that use information technology to solve urban problems and facilitate city management. India has invested $1.2 billion so far and is looking to attract more funding from private investors and from abroad. Smart town means everything, right from the urban infrastructure to the way we transact business in that particular town, the way we take care of social sector, that means care of social sector, that means schooling, health, security, e-governance. India's smart city program hopes to revolutionize city life and improve the quality of life for India's urban population. But with mass migration leading to basic issues like water shortage and overcrowding, the pace at which these cities will be developed will be the key. Narendra Modi's pet project of smart cities was inspired by GIFT, Gujarat International Finance Tech City in the state of Gujarat, a smart city still under construction and inspired by China's Shanghai. Amit Bhatt is the strategy head of urban transport company Embark India. He says the government has much to do to make smart cities a success. Buses, a lot of non-motorized transport, walking and cycling, is key for any sustainable development. And so if you are looking at realizing the smart city dream, urban transport has to play a very active role in, in, in realizing of this dream. Among the challenges of smart city development is land acquisition and the displacement of rural farmers. We need to understand that if somebody is giving up their family wealth in the form of land, which has been tilled by a certain family by for, for generations, they are giving up everything they have. So um, it is really important that we make them partners in what we are trying to do. Government officials are also pushing back against criticism that India should focus first on providing basic services like electricity and running water to all its citizens before moving ahead with smart cities, saying its plan will benefit all. The time has come for India to do what China has done uh, about two decades ago, which is to leapfrog information and communication technology and smart use of data, of big data.